Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be taking a look at this Chesapeake and Ohio pulpwood car. Okay, so let's open this thing up. I really like the fact that these got plastic on it. Let's get that plastic off of there, yeah. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take out the actual container from the lid. And this has been in plastic for quite a while, so it might be a little difficult to get it out, but there we go. So inside here, we should have a body. We should have a bag of parts, an underframe, and the detail part for the underframe. We also have instructions. There's not much to these instructions. This rail car doesn't really have much to it. It's a pretty basic rail car. You're not gonna find a lot of pieces in here. We also have the weight as well in the box. Now the weight, you're gonna wanna make sure that you look down the edge of the weight and make sure that it is actually straight. So you can just bend it with your fingers, your hands, and straighten it out make it look nice. This weight doesn't look too bad a shape. However, if you want to, you can take and paint them. And through the magic of film, we have a painted one already. So you're going to have your weight, your frame, and inside your bag here, there should be some small parts. Should be a couple of wheels, should be two wheels. Uh, this one comes with some plastic KD style couplers. We got two hook covers or clips and two screws for the wheels and a brake wheel. And that's really all that comes in this kit. It's pretty, it's pretty basic. So we'll stick those in the box and we will start with the underframe. So the underframe here you're going to want to make sure you go through, take off any of the flashing that might be around on the back side or anything that will be in any of these areas here or anything that will stick up and, and cause the pieces not to fit together nice and snugly and, and properly. Make sure there's no flashing on there. That piece is okay. Now this piece, you want to go around and make sure there's no flashing on the ends. Also, this piece here is directional. It has to go in the frame a certain way. So when you go to put this piece in the frame, there is a side that has the part, the detail part sticking out, and then it has a side where they are flush. Now the flush side must stay up when you put it into the framework. And then it just presses into the framework like that. And there you go. Now making sure that the detail parts are sticking out that way so that when you put it together on the car, it will sit nice and flat. So next we are going to be sticking in our couplers. Now we have KD number 37 couplers. We are going to go with a, a medium underset shank. And we're going to do that because these cars sit a little bit low. And we are also going to be putting in some dry graphite, a little bit of KD greasem to lubricate the couplers. So we'll stick the coupler in there like that and then we are going to get our coupler clip and we're gonna make sure it is in good shape, it's not bent. And we are going to clip it over the coupler. It should just push down and clip on. Make sure that your coupler is moving freely when you're done and also we want to make sure that those clips are seated on there nicely. Just give it a quick test with the pliers to make sure it is on there. And then we will do the other side as well. Once you have your second coupler in there, we can go ahead, put the clip on. Okay. Again, make sure the coupler is free 
and we want to make sure that is going to be fully clipped on there and stick. Excellent. So that is our underframe. Next is the body. So you want to make sure that there's no flashing in here or anywhere in the body here, just making sure it's all nice and clean and everything's going to fit together properly. We have a brake wheel to put on here. So we will get our brake wheel. Now this brake wheel here, if it will fit in there snugly without glue, that is best because we can stick it in there and then that will be secured. And then if it breaks later on, it won't be so much of a problem to replace it. So then we're going to flip our car over. We will stick our weight inside, making sure that it sits down nicely. Then we will stick our underframe in, making sure that it sits down where it is. Double check and make sure if there is any flashing to remove it, if it is sticking up or being held up anywhere. And then next is our wheels. Stick our wheels on there with the two screws. Might be better if you stick screw in the wheel and then hold it over the frame. Do the screw up, making sure not to do it up too tightly that the wheels cannot move. The wheels must move freely so that they can pivot. Do the other side and then you can tighten it down, making sure that the wheel is free and not going to bind up. So there is our pulpwood car all assembled. Now it's time we got to put it on the track and make sure the coupler height and everything is good. So here we have our Chesapeake and Ohio pulpwood car on the track. Now we just need to make sure the hooks are lined up and everything is going to clear. So as you can see here when I hook it up to the gauge the hook is actually a little bit high. Probably didn't need to use an underset shank hook. We probably could have used a regular hook and that would have been a little bit better, I think. I might have to switch that around. Not hard to take it back apart and uh, switch the hooks around though. So as you can see here, I switched it over to a number five coupler and that lines up perfectly. I should have done that in the first place. Look at that, very nicely lined up, nothing touches, you're good to go. So there we have our Chesapeake and Ohio pulpwood car all assembled and ready for the layout. Now I just would like to also uh, reiterate why I didn't use the couplers that came with the model kit. And that is because they are plastic and they don't have an actual real spring in the backside to hold them closed. So they're, they're pretty much garbage, they're very, very poorly made and they don't work very well so I don't use them I use KD's and uh, that's a much better hook it's it's just so much better anyway let's go try this out on the layout